Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a task guide for Jaeger for the Tash Dragnet. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one, and of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more PvE and more task guides. And speaking of that, for point fifteen, this should be our very last task guide. So if you're still working on any of those tasks, and you're struggling or need some help or just need to know how to do them, we have videos on all of them. So make sure you check out whatever you still need to do. This one is going to be technically the hardest task due to the price. When it comes to the actual difficulty of it, it's extremely easy. But right now, the cost of entry into the room you need to go into is quite expensive. On average, it'll cost you about $6.5 million to enter the room. But you can't just scrape by with 6.5, and I'll show you why here in just a moment. We actually made a video on this item yesterday, so spoiler alert, you might already know. So, we have Dragnet from Jaeger. Locate and obtain the chemical container at the Terra Group Warehouse on Factory. Hand over the chemical container. So, to get in this new room on Factory, on the Factory Rework, we're going to need a key card. And this key card is only currently obtained one single way. And that is through Cultist. Cultists already have an extremely low spawn chance on all the maps that they're on. So obviously nighttime only, ground zero for level 21 and up, it's going to be a 1% chance. Customs, it's going to be a 2% chance. Factory, it will also be a 2% chance, but only three cultists spawn on factory. Other maps could have like five or six, I believe. And then shoreline and woods have a 5% chance. So then you have to kill the cultist and hope that you get this key card. It's not guaranteed. If you guys have killed any cultists since patch point 15 came out and the key card has dropped for you or it hasn't dropped, let us know your experiences down in the comments to see, you know, kind of help us gauge how rare this thing actually is when it's dropping from cultist. Maybe they juice it up because the task is a thing. Or maybe it's just like every other key card. It's just a chance. It's just a roll. But with that being said, there is one other way to obtain this key card. And that is through the flea market. And I don't know if you're ready for this, especially if you didn't see the video yesterday. These things cost a lot. 66 million. 65 million is the average. That is insane. Now, as more videos come out about this, as more task guides come out, as more people complete the task, this key card will fall in price. It'll go to 60, 50, 40, 30, and it'll just continue to fall for the rest of the time. Now, if these key cards never come out with another way to obtain them, besides the flea market and cultist, because they do have the quote unquote durability or uses now, it's not an unlimited use key card. It might remain pretty expensive for quite a few months just because of how much it costs now and you know, the amount of people that are going to have this task and they're going to want to complete it. So they're going to purchase it. You know, it's going to come down in price. I just have no idea how fast, you know, maybe it's 30 million in a week or maybe it's only 60 million in a week, but it will come down in price eventually. But I got to say, it really does stink to just see that task lurking in your menu, knowing how easy it is to complete and not being able to afford the key card. Now, if you're wondering what the fee is on this key card, we can throw it on the uh, the listing screen so I can show you. Obviously, I'm not going to list it because we have a task guide to do for you guys today. But at 65 million rubles, you are looking at a 20 million ruble fee. So no matter what, no matter what, you are paying whatever the fee is if you do relist this key, which you're going to once you see how bad the room is because the only use for the key right now is actually the task item. So you are essentially going to pay 20 million rubles to finish this task. This is roughly the cost of doing the task because you buy it for 65, you list it for 65, something along those lines. So we need to do the task. We can see that I have it. It's right here. We got to do it. So let's go ahead and hop in and let's get it done. Um, you know, you don't really have to buy a high use one. The loot is not good enough for you to buy a high use one. So if there is a one of 10 out there for, you know, 20 million, something like that, that's worth it because you don't have to pay the fee. You're going to pay the 20 million anyway. But, you know, if you find like a five of 10 for maybe like 30 mil and you have to pay a 20 mil fee and maybe you could get away selling it for 60 mil, hey, you can make a little money on this thing. You just need somebody who's going to dump the key. 
another thing is people that might not know how much the key is worth uh, or might not have enough to cover the fee, they could list it way lower, but you would have to sit there and refresh forever. So it really just depends on uh, the people that are actually getting the key card. And if cultists are the only way, I'm assuming that higher skilled players will be the ones that are actually going to be uh, grabbing this thing. So let's go ahead and head down to Camber Bunker. Here's some guys over here. I think they're coming in. I think we're going to have a problem. I mean, really, not much of a problem. Anyway, back to the task. We're going to be heading down to Camera Bunker, which is right here. And there's going to be a room to the left of the Camera Bunker extract right here. You can see the keypad here. Can you use that key card? And in we go. So this room has a little gun safe here. Nothing in it. So we got this bank safe here. They're both bank safes that will have guns, uh, fuel, ammo, stuff like that. There's also a med bag that can spawn in here somewhere. We got a toolbox. We got a jacket. And uh, obviously the two bank safes. I'll show you the task item here in just a moment. But um, yeah, it's just really interesting, this room in general. This box is not lootable. All right, so the chemical is right here in our raid, but I believe it can spawn in a couple other places, like somewhere over here and then maybe on this shelf as well. But in our case, this is what it looks like. Just one of the tubes that uh, we grab on like shoreline and interchange those ones. So that is the chemical in the new key card room on factory and we are gonna head on out of here so i am just gonna run right to the gate zero extract and use our factory key we're gonna head on out we're gonna turn that into jaeger and we are gonna sell this key card baby we are not gonna be uh <laughs> holding on to that one if it was unlimited uses i would keep it I don't know if I'd be too happy paying $65 million for it, but if it was unlimited uses, I would love to hold it and have a little fun room to loot every single factory run. But 10 uses, $6.5 million a use, not going to happen. All right, let's go ahead and turn that into Jaeger. Drag that right here. Boom. And there we go. Probably the most expensive task right now in the game. I could be wrong. It could be one that costs more than that. But here's all our rewards. Obviously, the M62 is nice. Not really worth $6.5 million, But, hey, it's nice. So that's going to do it for the task guides here for point fifteen. Hopefully, they add some more new stuff in maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month. Just uh, one or two things here to keep us busy. But overall, the tasks were pretty fun, and the factory rework is amazing, and it was really nice to get to do a bunch of tasks on it. But let me know what you guys think about point fifteen and the tasks that were added. Let me know what you think about the factory work, or just let me know how absurdly overpriced this keycard is. Do me a favor, leave that like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.